What's good, everyone? It's your boy Dubs, and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button as we are getting close to 17k subs, but I can't do it without y'all. Make sure you hit the little bell icon and make sure it's switched to all so you don't miss out on any more content. And smash that like button. Let's try to get this video up to at least 25 likes because I know y'all can do that for me. And like I said, I live stream every single day. I'm talking about in the park. We getting lit for my team, Fortnite, Call of Duty, you name it. We play every single day over on Twitch. Link will be down in the description. So, as always, make sure you stay locked in because if you are a current gen, you know, player, I do have the current gen version of the build, but it'll be at the end of the video. So, position, obviously, we're going to go center for Victor. Um, right hand, jersey number one. Now, obviously, you can't be 7-5 in 2K. So it is going to be a little bit different, but I'll explain everything as always. Height, we're going to go 7'1". Weight, we're going to go 220. And wingspan, we're going to go 7'11". That's the longest wingspan you can go. Now, Victor's wingspan, I'm thinking is like at 8 foot, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know his weight and things like that, but based off the stats and what we're going to do with the build, we have to pretty much set it up just like this. Um, body shape, we're going to go with... Well, I'll go with compact. Close shot is going to be an 85. Driving layup is going to be an 84. Driving dunk is going to be an 86. Standing dunk is going to be a 90. And then we're going to leave post control alone. Mid range is going to be a 73. Three pointer is going to be a 77. Free throw is going to be a 62. Pass accuracy is going to be a 76. Ball handle is going to be a 50. Speed with ball is going to be a 50. Interior defense is going to be an 80. Perimeter defense is going to be a 66. Then you're going to leave still alone. Block is going to be a 93. O board is going to be a 70. Defensive board is going to be 94. Your speed is going to be a 70. Your acceleration is going to be maxed out at 64. Your strength is going to stay at 55. Your vert, you're going to take up a 75. And your stand, you're going to bring all the way up to a 95. So if you made the build correctly, you should have 22 finishing, 16 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 24 defense. Now, breaking down everything here. As you can see in the finishing category, you are not going to be short of pretty much like a masher in a sense, because you're going to have gold acrobat, gold fearless, gold limitless takeoff, all in the tier one. And you're going to have silver slithery all in the tier one at seven one tier two. You got your post riser, but you get gold rise up, gold fast twitch and gold masher. And I'm going to show you guys after this part, of course, what that's going to look like Because 22 finishing badges is going to be the perfect number. And then 86 for the driving dunk, obviously, so you can get gold limitless takeoff. 90 standing dunk, which is going to give you access to every um, big man contact dunk. So not just the pro, you're going to get the elite big man contact dunk as well. And then post control, you're not going to go into the post too much. And I know that if you move post control up, you'll go ahead and unlock stuff like unpluckable and quick first step. It's not doable with pretty much what I'm going to show you. It's just, you'll see later in the video, it's just not doable. <laughs> so uh shooting wise we're gonna go with a 73 midi i mean you're gonna still get that gold mini magician so you'll be able to shoot crazy midis i don't ever suggest it but it's there for the taking and for anybody who's like oh it's a 77 three ball the shooting should be better i'm wondering if you've really been watching victor because uh i'll throw it up on the screen as you can see victor literally last season only shot 27 percent from three that's not too hot so the fact that i'm giving a 77 three ball is going to be perfect i'll show you guys a jump shot that you can go ahead and use for this build with a 77 three ball because you're literally going to have the best big man um jumper in the game anyways 62 free throws is going to be good enough for you to hit free throws 76 pass accuracy just to make sure we get our gold break starter because we're going to want to hit our teammates not like a lot of builds out here that have no pass accuracy near a center you're going to be able to dot your teammates and then the 50 ball handle and 50 speed with ball is set up like I said, you'll understand later why I went ahead and did this. And then we got 80 interior defense so that we can still get stops inside the paint. 
66 perimeter so you can move those puppies really the reason why i did this is so you could have that hall of fame off ball pest which is going to help a lot especially if you end up in the corner or something like that playing against a 6-9 in the park or something you're going to be able to go ahead and stop them in their tracks from back you 93 block that way you're going to get all the best block animations you do have a 7-11 wingspan so you're going to be blocking people's stuff into a whole nother galaxy 70 o board once again you're probably scoffing at the fact that this is a 70 offensive rebound. If you have not been watching Victor Wimbanyama, I'm going to show you again. Last season, Victor only averaged two offensive rebounds. Defensive rebound is a 94, so you do have access to Hall of Fame Box Out Beast, which is going to help you a lot. And then you're going to have your gold rebound chaser. 70 speed, really good speed for a 7 footer. 64 acceleration, so when you do get the ball, you will have some type of speed to you. 75 vert obviously is going to help with the rebounds but also goes hand in hand with your driving dunk so you get your pro contact dunk animations and 95 stand to round it all off so you don't get tired now the reason why i have so much into finishing and kind of like weird stats as far as ball handle and speed with ball and playmaking is because with the like to get this takeover i had to lab for a long 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 time to get this takeover on this build so without further ado look at these takeover options ladies and gentlemen slashing take sharp take rim take and glass take if that's not perfect for a wimby build then i don't know what is you can literally get easy blow by so you can go ahead and blow by people to get dunks so you can do like finishing moves on seven one so you're gonna get not only your pro contact dunks so you're gonna be dunking on people like that but then you're gonna turn around and have pro and elite big man contact dunks so you're gonna be dunking on the head even more because you have finishing moves now so like that's disgusting you can rock finishing moves pain intimidation or if you want to go ahead and do rebounding you can or if you want to do sharp take you can now obviously on current gen it's not that big of a deal because of the takeover glitch that we all know exists but on next gen there is no takeover glitch so the fact that you get finishing sharp rim and glass take on a seven foot one player Y'all gotta give me a round of applause. Like I said, make sure to hit that like button. This literally took me like an hour and a half to actually lab this build up. And then on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a catfish build at its finest, because look at this. Nick Claxton, Window Carter Jr., and Kessler Walker. And look at this build name. Interior finisher. Interior finisher. That sounds like what Wimby is for real for real either that or like a defensive anchor but I would say more of an interior finisher because obviously shot pretty good from the field especially for being 7-5 but as you've seen we literally have <laughs> this is a catfish build you have a 77 three ball and like I said I'm gonna show you guys the big man jump shot that is going to have you set and you're gonna be green and everything that's why I say make sure to stay all the way through to the video because I'm going to start throwing things in there. I'm not going to do like a big man jump shot video. I'm not going to make any more jump shot videos for the rest of the year. So it's important that you watch this all the way through. But with the badges, this is what I was talking about. You'll be able to do gold acrobat, gold fearless, gold limitless takeoff. We're going to do bronze for now. Then you're going to go over here and then you can either core gold fast twitch or gold rise up. Me, I'm going to go rise up core that right throw on gold fast twitch and throw on your post riser and boom you can look at the type of finishing ability you're gonna have fast twitch on gold rise up on gold so you're gonna be dunking on people like crazy silver post riser to go with that rise up silver slithery so when you go ahead and take off on somebody with your limitless takeoff you'll be just fine and you'll have gold acrobat and gold fearless just in case they get in your way or if you want to have a little bit of finesse game that's why i said 22 finishing is perfect for this build you're gonna be so glitchy out there and then same with the shooting 16 is perfect because you're gonna go agent threes um you can do mini magician you can go ahead and do like gold claymore and we'll do something like that for now then you go ahead and you core like catch and shoot because that's gonna give you your points back go ahead green machine you can go volume shooter if you wanted to, and boom. You have all the shooting you could ever want. I mean, if you want to argue, maybe you can put an extra badge in or an extra two badges so you can at least rock like bronze amp, bronze clutch shooter if you really want to, but you're fine with these badges. Or you can just take out mini magician all together, if that ain't your thing, and then you can go like, you know, 
or you can run like gold slippery off ball and then playmaking wise you got the perfect amount of badges once again because you call her break starter you can throw on bell out vice grip because we're not even worried about the tier three badges clamp breaker you can do that and do that boom perfect don't even have to add anything then defense obviously hall of fame here you're gonna rock silver there you can go gold anchor you're gonna core that obviously gold rebound chaser you can go hall of fame there there boom 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 or you can go like that so you got the perfect amount of defense as well I mean, if you really want to, you can offload them like all your extra badge points inside of defense and get like a brick wall because you get that on bronze. So, and then with the core badge pattern, you can go ahead and core both of these and then get all your badge points back and then do like a brick wall and fill out the rest of this. So, you're going to have the perfect amount of badges on this build. So, like I said, for a Victor build, this is perfect stat wise, the glitchiness that everyone's trying to achieve with a build. Plus, it's a catfish build because it says interior finisher, and you're going to be able to shoot the rock at a high clip. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing on over to the jump shot builder real quick, and I'm going to show you guys why I gave it the 77 3 ball, and I'm going to give y'all the best big man jump shot for really any build, not just this build. So, give me a sec. And that's why it's important to stay all the way through because who would have thought I'm about to plug y'all with the best big man jump shot in the game? And it's easy. This is why I gave this Victor build a 77 three ball. We're going to go O'Shea Brissett. Then for the release, we're going to go. Where is he at? Where is he at? Tim Duncan. And we're just going to go 100% Tim Duncan. This is the best big man jump shot in the game. And if you look down there in the corner, it says that you have to have a 77 three ball. So you have a 77 three ball in this Victor build at 7-1. Disgusting. But uh, hey, you can use this jump shot on current or next gen. And for my current gen people, stay locked in because we're about to go ahead and switch on over to current gen. And I'm going to show you how the Victor build over there. Okay, so position, we're going center. And we're going to go right, jersey number. We're going to go number one. And then height, we're going to go 7-1. Weight, we're going to go to 20. And you're going to max out that wingspan. Body shape doesn't matter. We're gonna go slight. Close shot is going to be an 85. Driving layup is gonna be an 84. Driving dunk is going to be an 86. Standing dunk is gonna be a 90. You're gonna leave post control alone. Mid range is a 73. Three balls is a 77. Free throw, you're gonna bring up to a 62. Pass accuracy, you're gonna go 76. Then ball handler, you're gonna go 50. Speed ball, you're gonna go 50. Interior defense, you're gonna go 80. Perimeter defense, you're gonna go 66. Steel, you're gonna leave at 32. Block, you're gonna bring up to a 93. Offensive rebound, you're gonna bring up to a 70. Defensive rebound, you're gonna bring up to a 94. Speed, you're gonna bring up to a 70. Acceleration, you're going to bring up to a 64. You're going to leave strength at 55. Vert, you're going to bring up to a 75. And then the rest goes in the stand. And if you made the build correctly, you should get 22 finishing, 16 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 23 defense. Even similar badge count to the build on next gen. Just missing one defense. Takeovers, like I said, we already know that the takeover glitch is still on current gen. So, if unless you live underneath the rock. And if you do... I don't know how you're watching this video, but uh, so you can go ahead and do whatever you guys need to do. So you can go ahead and get, you know, slash or take or post take or playmaking take. You can get whatever you want. So takeovers on current gen really don't matter. But you still get the same effect of that catfish build because you have built an interior finisher with shades of Nick Claxton, Walker Kessler, and Clint Capella. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button. And if you knew, Hit that sub button and like I said, make sure to go ahead and click on the description of this video and follow me over on Twitch because that's where we live stream every single day. Because until later on the night, y'all, where you can definitely catch me in the live stream. As a matter of fact, I might go ahead and stream right after this video. So like I said, make sure to click that link because we got to go for 40 before the end of the day. But hey, man.
It's me, your boy Dubs, and I love you guys as always. And go crazy with the build. Peace.